Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you've all had a really good week. And um, so this week, what we're gonna be doing is are they the one? Or in the words of Chesney Hawks, are they the one and only? I um I get a lot of this coming over private readings that people always wanted to know if they're one, if this person that they are seeing or where things are going a bit peak tongue, are they the one for them? So we're gonna branch out into that today. Are they the one? If you guys have got any requests for public readings, um, I'm gonna take a shout out for those this week. So if you wanna put them in the comments, uh, just do that for me. And if me and my guys can run them for the channel, if there's a collective mutual energy on them all for you all, on them for you all, uh, we'll run it on the channel for you, okay? So here is deck number one, and here is deck number two. We'll be using both of the Dame Darcy decks today. This is her Alice in Wonderland one, and this is her Mermaid one. Absolutely love her as an artist. I think she's phenomenal. So deck number one, deck number two. Think about your person for me. And as you're thinking about your person, I really want you to feel that heart-centered energy towards them and push it into the deck. And if you can't feel the energy going in, if you can visualize it or just sense it, to the deck that you are most drawn to, number one and number two. And that's how we work. We work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances circumstances and situations. Uh, we go into all of your energies, we go into all of your people's energy, and the strongest mutual energy between you all is what gets pulled out. A bit like how we worked out the average at maths at school. Number one, number two, okay. Let's do this. So this is deck number one. Now I've put some Lenormand down as well, which are fortune telling cards. My heritage um, is of Polish travellers. Um, my great great grandparents were Polish travellers, part of like this Polish travelling, part of a travelling circus in Poland. Um, so when it comes to fortune telling, I can do that as well. So we're gonna, I put the Lenormand out in case we need them today. Now they're very different from tarot. Um, they have very blunt and direct messages. So we'll see if we end up using them. Think about your person for me. We get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of you guys as well. So the first thing that I'm getting, um, and I think it was Robbie Williams that sang it. Uh, she's the one. Now, Robbie Williams actually lives kind of near to me. Um, so Robbie Williams from good old England. He's, he's uh, in the same kind of city as me. Um, but she's the one, and I'm sure that was him. Okay, is the person that deck one are thinking about, are they the one for them? Are they the one? Now, with that, with this kind of energy of the one, please remember that you all have free will. And you can completely and utterly make up your mind about this as you choose to. Um, if you don't feel the person is right, please don't make them try and fit into your energy. You are the one that is in control of this. Um, so if you're thinking, well, I do really like them, I can see that we've got a future together, but um, their actions are a little bit iffy and I'm not sure whether they like me. Remember that you have got that free will, okay? Nothing in life is predetermined. Um, there are certain things in our life that are predetermined. For example, um, if you're gonna be spiritual, you're probably always gonna be spiritual. Um, you would, but what pathway you choose to go with it, um, whether you do tarot, whether you do Reiki, whether you do healing, whether you do anything along those lines, that is your free will. Same with marriage and kids, you're probably always gonna get married. I was probably always gonna get married. I was also probably always gonna get divorced. And with kids as well, it's the same thing. It, so some things in our life are predetermined, but not everything, because we are here for free will. Okay, are they the one? So do remember that as well, please that you have got your own free will to make the choices on it. Now, it's looking quite positive between you and your person, but the energy is just a little bit stagnant around you both at this moment in time. So you are kind of wavering between whether this is something that you want, whether this is something that you need, or whether this is actually the real deal. And you pick um, and choose on a kind of daily basis. Some days you're like, yes, I want this to work. This is the person I want to be with. I'm gonna just wait around and see what happens. And then the next step you're like, right, you know what? F it, I'm done, I'm out of it. I can't cope with this anymore. And it's really kind of putting your energy into this stagnant, sticky place. However, with that, your person is still remarkably strong in your energy, okay? So it's not a case of over, done with. It's not a case of nothing's gonna happen between the two of you. They are very strongly in your energies and they are sitting kind of 
uh, quite close to your shoulder. So what that means when I'm a psychic medium, remember, not just a tarot reader. So when they come that closely into your energy, this is stuff that is yet to unfurl. They are standing right strong in your energy, ready to uh, progress towards you, but they're not making these moves just yet. And it's kind of making you feel a little bit shitty. You're like, well, what's actually happening? What is going on? Now, the potential between the two of you is really, really good. It's a strong connection. There is a strong chemistry between you both. There is a strong bond between you both. And the connection is is kind of unbreakable for a sense. You know, I've just seen the clairvoyant image of the devil card. That you two are unable to kind of break the chains that are holding you two together. Now, the devil can sometimes be seen as the darker side of the lover's card. Um, you know, the lover's card is all happy, wonderful, everything's great. The devil card, um, it's the kind of the more kind of sexual, addiction, passionate um, energy that can come with it. All these kind of fear-based energies rise up with the devil as well. So with that clairvoyant image of the devil, this is saying, what spirit are saying with that is that this isn't a cycle that can easily be broken. So regardless of if you have, choose to have a future with your person or not, this cycle will keep continuing to uh, reappear. It will keep going round and round and round. Now, it's important with that that you, there is an ending of the cycle. So for the two of you to come together and your person to be the one, there needs to be this ending of a cycle. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have tried to do past life regression. If you haven't, it might be worth doing that because even if you have high twin flame, connections or higher vibrational soulmate connections, we will still have karma with those people. Reason for that is because this isn't our first time on earth. We come down, we accumulate karma, we go back up and then our karmic debt has to be repaid when we come back down. So sometimes you'll find that these difficult situations that happen around you are karmic based. Now I do do past life readings if you want one of them doing and we do a karmic clearing within those, but you're more than capable of doing it yourself equally. If you go onto YouTube, type in past life hypnosis or past life regression, aggression meditation anything along those lines and you can kind of start moving and clearing that stagnant energy yourselves so even though this isn't a karmic connection between the both of you there is this element of karma stepping forward and that can also be why you guys feel stuck and trapped now a lot of you will be thinking that this is actually on your person and um, no matter what you want your person is the one that's got to make the moves or they've got to leave if they're third party they've got to leave the person that they're with and you're sitting there thinking well what's actually going to happen now with that once this stagnant cycle breaks the two of you have got great potential for this to be moving forward into a strong determined future spirit saying you can have the outcome that you desire at the end but there really is this need to forego the shadows is what spirit are saying We've got to break you away from those cycles and from those chains because at the moment you're like chasing your tail. You're like a rabbit, uh, not a rabbit, a hamster, I just saw the hamster going around the wheel. You're like a hamster going around the wheel and you don't really know when to get off. Now the good news with that is your person is going to be having thinking time over it all. They can see that there's a great amount of potential between you both and they can see that this is something that they could engage with in a longer term future between you both. But at the moment, again, it kind of comes back to that sticky stagnant cycle. You guys energy, you people watching is changing as well. So you've gone from this initial when you met them, everything was wonderful and perfect. Um, to be all kind of drifting or getting a little bit peaked on or then blowing hot and cold with you and you're not really sure what's going on. With that, you have this stepping forward into a new frequency, into a new vibration. And this is the vibration of someone that is nurturing and kind. So you've kind of gone from this magical, mystical, everything is phenomenal into this nurturing empress energy. And this empress, what she talks about is about how we want to give birth to new dreams, how we want to see our lives kind of unfurl in the most positive direction. Often it can be a symbol for children as well. So children might be involved in your cycle or that you are thinking that you might be getting old and that you're wanting kids and they need to hurry up. So children are being brought into deck number one's energy as well. And this is where the kind of priorities are shifting and changing. So at the moment, it's stuck. 
it's a bit sticky. Try to do those past life aggressions and it will start to clear those energies between you both, that karmic clearing. Again, no matter what your divine connection is, karma always plays a massive part in it. So just be aware of that. Your person is very heavily burdened by the situation at this moment in time. Again, potentially third parties over here that they are stuck in this cycle and they don't know how to get out of it. Um, and you're just kind of peeking in on the sideline, watching everything they're up to and thinking, would you just tell me the F up? Because this is taking you know you're taking too long to make these choices and decisions over it and that puts you in a difficult position okay now remember until they commit to you you don't owe them any kind of commitment all right always remember that um you could end up if you start committing to them if that what more my third party people if you start committing to them whilst they're in the third party relationship you're going to find yourself in a very trapped energy so just be aware of that and say to them that until you commit to me I'm not going to commit to you but you know how I feel about you you know I have these emotions for you you know I can see us having a future but we need to kind of get our shit together for that to happen again that's not all of you that is some of you but it's just this awareness of it all so that you don't end up getting in a more trapped position than where you guys currently are at so the potential between the two of you is really good the potential between the two of you has a lot of growth, Spirit are saying, um, but at the moment, it's really stepping out of the cycle that you guys are in, whichever cycle that is. So whether that is a third party, whether that is this going round, chasing a tail, whether that's a couple of months talking, no months talking at all, they are always in the background. And what we need to do is bring them to the forefront. Manifesting could be uh, quite important for this as well so you can move and shift the energies around you which can then bring this into your favor as well so if you need a manifesting plan to get everything you want give me a shout manifesting has no impact on people's free will how it works is we have a i have well let's use a left hand and a right hand this is your hand you have a vortex of all your desires and your wants your person has a, a vortex of all their desires and wants and what you essentially need to do is reach the same frequency so that you guys can get the both same desires and wants that you both want at the same time okay so that's essentially how manifesting works so is your person the one at the moment it's looking like it can shift into your favor it's sticky okay it, let's not sugarcoat it is sticky um but with the right amount of kind of work that you put into yourself i.e manifesting past life aggression anything along those lines this can shift into your favor it's not a quick fix it is a longer road it is going to take time um there isn't a collective timing for you guys i was just trying to push spirit then to see if they had a collective timing for you but they don't okay so you're all at very different timings within deck number one we're going to break you out of this sticky energy okay and it's really important because at the top row you have the eight of swords which is where you are at this moment in time and in the bottom row we have the hanged man but he is in reverse so there is definite potential for this to be moving forward your hanged man is going to become enlightened he's going to see or they are going to see the light of day realize what they're doing and from this sticky energy they will bring themselves moving forward towards you okay they will bring it movement but it's slow and it is slow movement between you both. But there is this need for working it out. And with the chariot at the end, this is suggesting that there is a way that you two can be together and they are potentially the one for you. But don't suffer fools gladly. You know, keep your wits about you. Um, don't put your whole life on hold if you're feeling that this is getting, you know, stuck and confused and you don't know what you're doing. Um, even if you chose to step away from the situation with the power-based energy that you guys are in, it will turn back into your favour and you have this really positive potential for a new start between you both. So there are other people available to you. Let's Again, there are other people available to you um, with your person we would suggest trying breaking that cycle, seeing it through and letting the potential come to you. Let it do, let the universe do its job rather than you trying to control it, let, you, let the universe control it. You can say to the universe, look, universe, if it isn't blah, filling your person's name, can you please send me someone better that I will love equally or more than as if by magic and with total ease and send it out and let the universe do its job and bring your person to you. You have got action 
these ones are just kind of staring at me at the top of the deck. You have got action on this, but you guys really need to pay, pay attention to your intuition. Try not to get overwhelmed with these kind of shadow energy. So what we mean by that is the fears that come with this situation. I can't do a claw. I used to be able to do it really well on our, in the old house, but your hand would normally be a hand. In the shadows, it becomes a claw. And it's that kind of energy that comes forward with this as well. Try not to let your hands become claws. Try not to let your fears overwhelm you and overtake you. Now, I know I spoke about a book before, um, Dear Universe by Sarah Prowl. I'll link it in the description for you. Um, it's a really good for turning a really good book for turning fear-based energy into love-based energy. So we would recommend doing that as well. Okay, let me do your Lenoma. Let's do it. Can you get into everyone's energy and pull out the strongest energy between everyone if their person is the one. So Lenamar, you tend to pull uh, three to five cards, just asking specific questions and getting specific answers. So let's do three. Is their person the one? That's a good start. Okay. So what these are saying, you've got sun, fish and key. What these are saying is um, you have great potential for abundance. You've got happy outcomes coming from prosperity and you've got this potential of things moving forward. Now with the key at the end, we take away this one, we have the fish and we have key. So this is saying that your uh, universal techniques that you use are going to be unlocking new doors into a future that can offer you commitment. Okay, so again, just looking at these three cards, there is this really positive sense going on over here, but you guys are the ones that are holding the key um, to this moving forward. So it might feel that they are in control, but actually you are the ones in control. So use what you are gifted with using, let's look over at the moon again, using your universal powers, using what you already know and what you don't know, start researching it and Googling it. And um, if you need me, just give me a shout, but using what you know or what is inside side of you and you've completely forgotten because it's past life energy you can move this situation forward and you have happy outcomes okay prosperity happy outcomes over here and the key to things moving forward and we link it all together this is saying prosperous uh, abundance you've got the key and it can all be unlocked for you okay so exactly what the tarot said are they the one yes there is really good potential for you guys to move this situation forward and be with them in a divine sparkly wonderful phenomenal cherry on top of the cake relationship pretty good pretty good okay guys that is deck number one uh, i'm sending tons of love to you look after yourselves and i will speak to you soon god bless my angels Okay guys, deck number two. So as always, as I said at the start, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, goes into all your energy or your people's energy and it pulls out the strongest mutual energy. I've also brought my Lenormand cards down as well. Um, I was saying in deck number one, my family were part of a traveling circus in Poland. My grandparents, my great grandparents. So Fortune telling has kind of naturally been a part of my life uh, since I was a kid, so I've put the Lenormand down. And um, now the problem, well, the thing, it's not a problem, the thing with Lenormand is it can be very blunt and to the point. So um, it works with direct questions and gives you very direct answers. Right, think about your person for me. Let's get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So spirit, tell us to use them. We will use them. Okay. Or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Okay, here's an old one for you guys. Do you remember, um, was it tattoo, or the things you said, running through my head, running through my head? We've got that coming into your energy. So there is this kind of everything that's been going on between you guys is running through your minds at this moment in time. And it's also running through your people's minds. I used to love that song. Okay, can you tell me, are there people they are thinking of? the ones for them. Are they the ones? One, two, three, we will have all three of them. I love this deck. Okay, the next song, you've got another song. Uh, this was Affirmation by Savage Garden. It's a great song. And let's get three more. Are they the one for them? One, two, that, that was more than 
what we anticipated. We being me and my guides. One more. Okay. All right. They're definitely saying two more. So we will listen to the cards. Let's put the high priestess on the side. Actually, to be fair, the same happened in deck number one. Okay. With you and your person, at this moment in time, there is a sense of sadness. There is a sense of heaviness. There is a sense of, I'm actually really upset by the situation and I don't know what I'm doing. And that is why that song is coming very strongly into you guys' energy. All the things she said, or they said, in, in terms of you guys. All the things they said, going through your mind and it's going through your people's mind as well. There has been this kind of lower vibration energy happening with you and your person. So whether you've had arguments or you've had some time apart or you're not really sure what direction you're going in or they're just not giving you what it is that you want from the situation, you are at this kind of stalemate energy. And with that, you have this overall sadness to your feelings and your emotions. Very heavy feeling on my heart for you guys. You don't really know what to do, what's going on, or what pathway you should be taking. Now, some of you guys will have been reaching out to your person and you feel like they haven't responded. Either they haven't responded at all or they haven't responded in the way that you want them to. Um, you're feeling that perhaps they're ghosting you or they're just not that into you and you don't really know what is going on. Now, with those emotions going over you guys, there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of, I know what choices I need to make, but I'm still not really gonna make them at this moment in time because I don't want to let this situation go. Now, it's interesting that you guys are there because Spirit are also saying your person is mirroring those energies as well. So they are also feeling the same, that they've kind of messed up. The two of you together, of course, is head on. Um, that was a song head on collision that was a song a man sang it um head on collision that's a specific lyric from it I'm not sure the song uh head on collision okay so you guys and your person have felt that you've kind of come to this they are feeling that they've come to this head on collision with you that it's all kind of turned a little bit Pete Tong and nobody really knows what is going on or what is to happen next. Now, your person knows that they are responsible for that. They also know that it takes two hands to clap, as you guys too, uh, as you guys do too. It takes two hands to clap and every action has a reaction, okay? And this time that you guys are, this time that you've either had out or where you are at this moment in time, your person is really realizing that the actions that they have caused, have made, have caused the reactions within you. And it's brought this kind of very addictive energy coming forward. Potentially it could be a little bit toxic between you both, but you do have this addiction energy coming forward between the two of you. Now, Spirit is saying you can use this to your advantage. So if you're thinking it's done and dusted with the devil card, that addiction energy is still there. So even if you're having time out or, you know, it's not quite working at the moment, there is still this need to be in one another's life. And it is a little bit like a drug addiction. Some of you guys are probably, they are partaking in escapism behavior. So drugs and alcohol, gaming, anything like that but also uh, with you guys watching we have this addiction to your person and they have an addiction to you as well so there is this strong pull between you both so even if it's not going right at this moment in time and it's all gone really tits up you have still got this strong pull towards each other now you guys are still you, you've been feeling very low, but what's going to happen is you're going to start pulling yourself out of this lower frequency. You're going to start pulling yourself out of this negative vibration. And the reason how, how you're going to be doing that is you're going to be really focusing this energy onto you and what it is that you want from the situation. You're going to start putting yourself first, which is great, okay? Because even though you have strong feelings for your person, even though you have strong emotions for them, you're starting to realize that actually your self-esteem and what you want in your life is more important than perhaps what they have given you in the past, okay? And through that, the more you stand in that power, the more your person is going to be drawn to you. Um, now, it does feel that if you guys aren't in contact, your people are watching your social media, so you could put some stuff on there. Not about them or their emotions, but how well you're doing. Oh, look at my new dress, can't wait to wear it out. Went, got walked through the supermarket, someone called me beautiful. Anything along those lines to really draw their attention back towards you. At the moment, they're in this quite um, difficult energy that maybe this all happened for a reason. Time is your biggest weapon here. Um, at time and your self-esteem, your self working on yourself. And I know it sounds cliche, 
I know it sounds cliche, but actually, um, self-love is key. It is key because the more you put into yourself, the more you start to feel better in yourself, the more your situations start to unfurl and unravel around you in the directions that you want them to. Now, in debt number one, I spoke about past life aggression um, and I also spoke about manifesting. If you wanna go and uh, listen to that, there's some cool tips and tricks in debt number one for you on that. But you guys, standing in your power is gonna be key to this. Would really recommend uh, a book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. And I know we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but what that bit does um in spiritual form or in, in energy where we're still a masculine and a feminine okay um so you could be two females you can be two males there would still be a masculine and a feminine energy with you and that is the same when it comes to this earthly life so when you know if you're in a same-sex relationship Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus, still a really good book for you guys to read because it will work on the vibration and energy of you and your person, okay? So you have this very strong need for you to look after yourselves a little bit at this moment in time. Spirit definitely just showed me outside as well. It's time to reconnect up with Mother Earth, with Gaia, um, spending a bit of downtime looking after yourself, meditation, yoga, green tea. Spirit is saying, can you try and stay away from fluoride, okay? Fluoride in your toothpaste, in your water. If you can just have a little bit of a spiritual detox from life at the moment it's going to make you feel a little bit better okay so bottled waters green teas nature meditation yoga uh, crystals anything along those lines which is just going to start really re uh, re-emerging your energy with yourself we need to reconnect that bond with you because if we can reconnect that bond with you this relationship can can progress forward okay your person does love you they do have very strong feelings for you. There is also very strong sexual energy coming forward between you both. And the chemistry is really strong between you both as well. And you have got a card of things kind of progressing in the right direction, being on the right path. The star always reminds me of the Bible with um, the, three, the three kings trying to find baby Jesus and following the star following the right path to get to where you want to go. You guys are there, but at the moment you're just having a blip and a wobble over it all, okay? Your person does love you. They are looking towards you and you are looking towards them. It's just that things have got in the way a little bit at the moment. So the more you step into this power, the more this is gonna shift into your favor. Now you guys have got a lot of choices and decisions that you need to make and there could be a sense of confusion that comes with that. Um, she just reminded me, I just got aerial part of your world. Um, the second part of that, okay? So everyone knows Ariel. The second part where she's laying on the beach and she says, I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Watching you'll see, one day I'll be part of your world, okay? So it's looking positive in the longer term, all right? But at the moment, there is this need to kind of work out what it is that you want. It could be a longer road. Let's not, you know, let's let's be honest with you. It could be a longer road between you both. It might, it's not gonna be overnight. You can't get from A to C without going through B. And you guys are in this process of going through B to get to C, which is you and your person being together. You've already done the first hurdle of it all. And now you're in this middle ground. And this middle ground is almost like the meaty part of the journey where all the stuff is gonna come up to the surface, where you're gonna be going through a lot of kind of dark nights of the soul, but really, what you will be doing in that time is analyzing what you want, whether this is the person that you want to be with and it's gonna land on you, you know? Your person will always come in and out of your life with these helixes that we speak about, the kind of DNA, um, the DNA of the frequencies, um, the, yeah, yeah. Spirit just said about the, the spinal cord and the frequencies involved in the spine, but I will leave that where it is. Um, you've got this shifting and this moving forward, okay? And you guys, again, if you haven't been communicating with them, let them come to you. Remember, the only person you should chase after is the ice cream man. And again, not sexually orientated or gender specific, but the egg doesn't chase the sperm. Let them come to you, all right? The love between the two of you is very strong and there is potential here, um, but it's just gonna take a little bit of work. And the key to this work starting is getting yourself on the ladder. And that ladder 
is the self-love, okay? Now, the other thing going on here is Spirit is talking about astral travel. It might be worth having a look at doing some astral traveling to see if you can find out a little bit more over this situation. I don't know if you guys have thought about it or do it. I am always astral traveling. Um, every single night I go off and see other dimensions and other things that are going on, different different parts of the world. Massive astral traveler. Um, so I don't know if you guys have thought about it, but if you haven't, maybe it's something that you want to look into. The other thing Spirit I mentioned here is the Akashic Records might be quite good for you guys to visit as well. Um, sometimes if you have got a more divine connection, you're not going to be privy to all the information in the Akashic Records. Um, reason for that is because a lot of it, um, even though there are things that are determined, that a lot of it is not for us to see at this point in time. So later down the line, you're probably going to see more information come up in the Akashic Records. But up until then, um, if you can't see the whole load of everything, you know, the Akashic Records is like the spiritual internet of your life. So the past, the present, the future, what has been, what will be, and what's to come. You know, so if you haven't gone and have a look, see if you can get access to them. You're going to need to get to the masters at the Akashic Records. So make sure that if you're doing it, you find a good meditation, if you want to do it guided, that speaks to the masters that allow you into the records, okay? So the future, are they the one? It's down to you. Can you... Is this something that you want to carry on doing? Um, the more love you put into yourself, the more access you have to what it is that you want, okay? Um, so again, really focusing on yourself. Remember that you don't have to sit around and wait for anyone. Um, I said in debt number one, and you can say the same, if it isn't blah, please send me someone better that I will love equally or more than. And that way you're opening up to the universe to give you what it is that you want, you know? And it's gonna be someone that you love more than your person or that is better for you than your person and it opens up so much opportunity for you guys so that you don't feel stuck in this crappy little en well this crappy energy it's not little it's a crappy energy you're feeling low you know um but keep moving yourself forward the more you move yourself forward the more your person is going to catch up later right let me just do the lenormand for you um so how lenormand work as i said they can be very blunt they can be very direct so they will not sugarcoat it for you they will just tell you the direct answers step number two is their person the one so you pull three or five cards they read as a story So what these are saying, you've got bouquet, child and snake. So these are saying there is a gift of new beginnings coming towards you, okay? Gift, new beginnings. Potentially children coming up in this as well, a gift of children. Um, but a new beginning coming forward towards you. Now, with the snake at the back, what this is suggesting over here is that these new beginnings might be covered a little bit with betrayal. So where you guys are at the moment with everything that has happened between the two of you, um, you can have the new beginnings but just be very, very wary, okay? It's going to take time for this relationship to establish again between the two of you so you can get rid of all the stuff that's happened in the past and starting on a more solid foundation. So again, you have a gift of a new beginning, you have potential here um, but it depends on if you guys can get over everything that's happened between the two of you and if you can do that then you've got your happy out outcomes coming towards you um but do keep your wits about you you know do keep your wits about you um the future between the two of you it's possible you know and again children could be coming into this as something that you guys um are wanting or that they already have and it could be complicating things between you both but you have got again you have got potential but just be smart you know, the more love you put into yourself, the stronger you're going to be. Um, trust your own intuition, trust your own gut instinct on it. Let it all unfold naturally. Um, be wary of the snake, okay? Just be wary. There's not a need for concern, there's not a need for worry, but there is a need for an awareness on it. Trusting your own intuition on it, okay? Because these new beginnings might be covered up with a form of deception. So trust yourself, okay? Trust your own intuition. Are they the one? There is, again, there is a lot of stuff that you guys have got to get through for them to become the one for you. Um, so it's not a no, but there are obstacles in the way and those obstacles have got to be cleared for this to progress in your favour. So the obstacles will get cleared the more work you do on yourself. And that is deck number two. 
Okay, guys, so have a really good week. Um, I will speak to you soon. If you need me, just drop me a message. Uh, I'm sending tons of love and light to you all. Look after yourselves and God bless. Take care, my angels. Bye.